Good afternoon. Welcome to my second ever cigar review. This is the Punch Diablo. This is the cigar that I was supposed to smoke yesterday, but I had that Corona cough and I uh, didn't want to die. So I'm going to be smoking it today. This is the Diablo Brute, which means it's the largest of the three Diablos that Punch makes. 60 ring gauge, six and a quarter inches long. Not the cigar you want with breakfast but it is good it's a really special cigar for a few reasons um one is that it simply tastes good the other punch and of course by this i mean the non-cuban punch always makes their cigars in honduras besides this one what they did is they decided we want to make a full-bodied strong punch cigar so they got aj fernandez the famous aj fernandez for better or for worse and got him to make the cigar. So he actually made the cigar, he created it, and then it's made in that factory in Nicaragua. So it's the first ever Nicaraguan punch. The brand ambassador, whatever you want to call him for punch, actually said that this is the most full-bodied punch cigar ever made. So straight from the horse's mouth, don't have this one on an empty stomach with breakfast, or you're gonna have a bad day. From a taste perspective, this is an excellent cigar. Um, if I could describe it in one word, it'd be, it'd be dark, right? Dark wrapper, dark taste, chocolate, s'mores. Um, but with it, almost a little bit of orange. I get mint, which is something you don't typically get in a cigar, but I get a little mint. But mostly it's just black cherry and chocolate. It's, it's a dark, big cigar. Um, let's talk for a minute about the wrapper. Not a wrapper like M&M, but the wrapper of the cigar. So a cigar has a wrapper, binder, and filler. The wrapper on this, on the outer layer, is oscuro. It is the darkest possible cigar leaf. They get that leaf by getting the top of the tobacco plant, fermenting it for a long time, and it turns dark because the sugar is essentially caramelized. Um, some people call oscuro double Maduro. That's not accurate. Double Maduro means that the wrapper and the binder are both Maduro. So you can't have an Oscuro that is a double Maduro because it's not double Maduro. Um, but nonetheless, it's an excellent cigar. A common myth is that dark cigars like this are going to be strong. It's a myth that is often true because cigar manufacturers make their dark cigars stronger but overall, that wrapper, right, that tiny layer around the outside, is so thin that it really doesn't have an impact on how strong or full-bodied the cigar is. You can have a dark, dark, dark cigar that's simply not a strong cigar. Um, and when I use those terms, full body, strength, what, what does that mean? <clears throat> so a full-bodied cigar is one that has a lot of flavors. It's not a mellow cigar that barely has a taste. It's got a lot going on, and this has a lot going on. Strength is nicotine, that's it. So when someone says, oh, it's a strong cigar, it just means it has a crap ton of nicotine in it. Uh, the two are not necessarily synonymous. You can have a full-bodied cigar that theoretically isn't that strong, and you can have a strong one that's not that full-bodied. You normally don't, though, because the tobacco leaves that make a cigar full-bodied are the same ones that typically make it strong. So they are often used interchangeably but it's not entirely um accurate Th this is an excellent cigar though the box had about 20 i probably smoked 15 of them none have been bad um the only bad review i read said that it had a paint smell or a taste when it was on a cold draw yeah i, I never got that it never has a paint smell or any other sort of chemical smell it's been good every single cigar has been good the entire cigar um, they don't have quality control issues at Punch, especially at AJ Fernandez Factory. The way that you get a cigar to be full body like this is by putting in a bunch of uh, Lejero leaf or Corona leaf. Uh, so in a tobacco plant, all right, starting at the top, Corona is the top layer of the tobacco plant. The next five layers and the top layer are Lejero. So every Corona is Lejero, but not every Lejero leaf is Corona. Corona is the top, Lejero is essentially the top five. That's how you get a cigar strong, is by using a bunch of that strong leaf that gets all the sun and then therefore 
for whatever reason, has all the nicotine in it. So great cigar, great look. I just love that dark color. It really reminds me of some of the Partega cigars that are so dark. Cigar, cigar Dojo had a great description that the cigar seems like it went off to war when it was 18 and doesn't want to talk about it. Yeah, I definitely think the cigar looks like it killed someone in a back alley. It's just, it's just nice looking. It's a nice, hefty cigar pairings. Um, right now I'm pairing it with nothing and I might regret that. <laughs> I might regret that. Um, I think it would go well maybe with a scotch or honestly with a steak. It might overpower the steak, but it is still just a fantastic cigar uh, that really should last 90 minutes. That top leaf, the dark Lajero, does burn very slowly. So especially sitting in like in a billiards room, sitting inside, it's a 90 minute cigar. Um, overall, I would strongly recommend the Punch Diablo. Again, this is the Brute, so it's a 60 ring gauge, six and a quarter inches. The only reason I wouldn't recommend this is if you're brand new to cigars, you gotta stay away from it. it it's gonna, it's gonna cause you to have to run to the bathroom and vomit in your hedges uh, if you try to smoke this and you never smoked before. Otherwise, excellent cigar. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope some of you can tell me if you like the cigar. Thanks.